I would be lying if I did not say that I am extremely overwhelmed. Why is it so bright? There we go. Still super bright. Hey guys, I just finished uh, taping a video for last week. Um, I actually taping two videos and I'm still in the middle of another one um, for last week because I'm playing catch up. Um, this vlog is going to have a little bit of everything in it because I'm not even sure what we're taping for the week that this vlog is for. <laughs> if I might need to start at the beginning here in a minute. My coffee is brewing. I'm going to take you upstairs and we're going to talk through um, have a little therapy session about what's been going on in uh, the life of the goods here the last couple weeks. It's always an adventure, that's for sure. Um, so, let me get my coffee and then we will head upstairs and have a chat. You might um, see that I'm not in my camper bedroom anymore. I am actually in Indiana, which is a story all in and of itself. I'll tell part of it in the vlog and then eventually we'll tell the whole story um, once the story is finished. But uh, <laughs> so we're in Indiana. We had been planning, we had, we've, I've taken a break from the vlogs for a little while because um, we had family come down and visit us in Texas. We had such a lovely time. Um, Aunt Lou and her family came down. My mom and dad came down and we explored and we did all kinds of things. Um, and maybe next week I'll add some of that footage to the vlog um, so you guys can kind of see some of the fun things we got to do. Um, in the process of that uh, period of time, a uh, couple things happened. One, my mom and I especially, and Mikey at the very beginning, got really, really sick. And so um, we, uh, with the allergies in that area, we were in the hill country of Texas and apparently, um, and I'm still recovering just a little bit, we um, got what everyone was calling cedar fever, which is, I guess there's a tree in the winter that pollinates. Um, you Texans can probably comment on all that, but it kicked our butts <laughs> while we were there. So we had that going on. Um, and just as we were starting to feel a little bit better, it was time for our trip to end. Um, and Mikey, just for those of you who don't know, we were in Texas for Mikey's Redneck Rockstar Tour. He went and we had dates in different um, cities and towns all over Texas. And he had just finished up. He was still wanting to go and hang out with some of his musician friends. But then we got this major weather report that some really nasty weather was coming, not only our way where we were at, but our entire trek home was going to get hit by this nasty weather. So we decided at the very last minute to pack up and leave, um, which has, uh, which means that we were in complete disarray because we thought we were gonna have more time. But when weather hits and you're traveling like that, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. And so we just packed up and we left early. And we thought we were gonna take our time to get home. On the way home, uh, first day, uh, we had traveled quite a bit. Um, and then we have a major breakdown on the road um, with our trailer. It's a long story. I don't fully understand or know all the details, so we will cover that later after we we get there <laughs> we get to the end of that story um but um the the long and the short of it is we had kind of a scary evening where we broke down thankfully my parents were there so they could kind of help us get it situated we had lots of wonderful um 
wonderful people who helped us figure out what to do and what our next steps were. It was a lot of figuring stuff out. So um, that's kind of, so we ended up, um, because Mikey has uh, music dates set here in Indiana, and then also, um, you know, I'm running the uh, <laughs> recipes at Croc, and we, oh, the whole point of having the trailer is to be able to uh, cook on the road and do those kinds of things. Well, when the trailer had a major breakdown, we couldn't do any of that from where we were at and get it fixed and all that kind of stuff. So what we ended up doing is getting it in with a repair shop and coming on home from Texas stressful stressful several couple of days which means that you know we we're kind of winging everything and you think that would be enough um we get home and um finally breathing a, a sigh of relief and our puppy, our Cavalier puppy, um, y'all know Octavius, he's been with us for years, well, and y'all know that we added Ollivander last year as to a part of our family, and Ollie's adorable. We love Ollie. Ollie has given us several gray hairs because Ollie likes to not only chew on everything, Ollie likes to consume everything. He's not really particularly fond of food, per se, as much as he is in edible things. And so, we get him home and he finds one of his toys, because a lot of his toys are still back on the road at the in the trailer at the shop. So we find one of his toys that he's played with ever since we've ever had him, never had a problem, and we're all going about our business trying to kind of get life back in order. And little Ollie decides to destroy this toy, which is not really that big of a deal, we don't think. Um, it's a little fabric toy. Um, to understand the kinds of things we've been through with Ollie, uh, we've learned we can't leave him alone with anything like rocks or anything that's wood or anything that is hard plastic. We have to watch him very carefully because he will consume those things and then it will make him very, very sick. Um, so we never we had problems when octavius was a puppy with him chewing things but we never had a problem with him like literally trying to eat things that were not like consume them he might accidentally do it every once in a while but not his like life mission like it is little olivanders so anyhow Ollie ends up eating part of this little fabric doll that he has. He's broken it apart and we get the squeaker away because, you know, we know it's plastic I and mean, that wouldn't be good for his tummy. And we don't realize at the time that little Ollie has eaten a large portion of this little doll. Um, and in pieces and strips and all that kind of stuff. We quickly start to find out that night when Ollie gets really, really sick. And at the beginning, we think that it's, you know, the typical, we've, we've talked with our vet and we know what to look for and all that kind of stuff. Um, we think it's kind of a typical situation where he's eating something he shouldn't and it's not going to be a fun couple of hours, but everything's okay. But, and this was over the weekend. So we were watching him closely and we even had, we had to drive down to my parents to get some of the things that, that we had brought home in their trailer from our RV. Um, and we brought Ollie with us cause we were really concerned about him and we just wanted to watch him. And then yesterday evening, little Ollie starts getting even more sick and I stayed up with Ollie most of the night because he was not doing well at all. Um, we called an emergency vet, we were talked through all the things, 
um, to watch for and when to bring him in or when to wait to see our normal vet. And so long story short, little Ollie went to the vet this morning after giving us a very stressful weekend after a very stressful few days. <laughs> He's on the mend now. They've checked him out. He's okay. He scared us half to death, but it's kind of just been one thing after another. So, now that little Ollie's taken care of, and I have some coffee, um, and the trailer's being taken care of by some very wonderful people who helped us come up with a solution in a really kind of bad situation, um, we're home! <laughs> it has been a doozy. Uh, all the videos we were supposed to tape last week didn't get taped because we were going to be on the road and then we were going to tape them early and get them ready, but then we had all the things that kind of happened after that. Um, so, I have been kind of sitting, not sitting, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, and then also... Uh, trying to briefly take moments to figure out, okay, w where are we? I mean, I had even prepared for the strawberry shortcake before we left. I had prepared the strawberries to go as the topping because you want it to go kind of a few days or a day, at least a day to kind of um, release its juices. Um, I had prepared those back in Texas. And so I'm thankfully had time today to make the shortcake for the video for everybody um so I didn't waste those but <laughs> it's like figuring out all that kind of stuff um at one point I realized all of our clothes were uh two hours south of where we live um because we tried to put everything in my mom and dad's trailer that we would need for the next few weeks until the repairs are done so figuring out all that and then like trying to run the business and trying to figure out what we're doing on the channel. It has been crazy. And I just keep thinking, I don't understand. Like before I started vlogging, maybe it's the vlogging part. Before I started vlogging, our transitions home and away were not nearly as eventful as they have been these last couple times. <sighs> um, anyhow. So, what I have been taping this afternoon is a video explaining where we've been. I've also taped a video, uh, I'm ta in the middle of taping a video of the strawberry shortcake. And um, then we already have Foodie Friday already taped um, with Aunt Lou and Mikey um, showing everybody how to make our mac and cheese in an electric pressure cooker. So. Those are the videos from last week that you guys have already seen, um, but that I'm having to tape when I normally would be taping the videos that were upcoming for you guys. So everything is like way off kilter. Um, I'm trying really hard in the new year to not overwork. So also keeping an eye on that. Oh, and, and little Addie has started her uh, school back. Uh, as of today um, with her homeschool so we've got all that set up and we got all of her out school classes if you guys watched our um, homeschool the vlog where we talked about homeschooling she's picked out a whole new set of really cool classes and it's a, a really cool thing so we've got all those things going on she's headed back to karate today <laughs> all the balls in the air um, so yeah that's what's going on I'm, um, I will here, uh, after I get off of here, go and finish taping the strawberry shortcake, and then I'm going to sit down and try and plan what the videos for next week are going to be. I already know what the Foodie Friday is going to be, because Mikey's going to do it. He has figured out this very delicious way to make, uh, little appetizers, um, in the foodie. He's making bacon-wrapped dates, and they all go nuts like the whole family loves them because it plumps the dates back up it's apparently very very yummy 
Um, it's not my cu particular cup of tea, but everyone else is loving them. So I think you guys will like that. So that's what the next Foodie Friday is going to be. And I also know this week that, oh, my strawberry shortcake's done. And welcome back. It has been 45 minutes and my ninja and my cake has cooked up. My shortcake has cooked up the way it normally does. Typically, I'd like for you to let this cool for at least 15 minutes. I personally like the shortcake better when it's actually cold or room temperature, but you can have it however you want. Usually when I'm making it though, it doesn't get to really cool all that much. Adi, hey, stop. He's chewing on his leash now. He's been uh, grounded. Okay, so got my videotaped. So that gets me caught up for this week. And I also grabbed me a little rug rat here who's feeling better enough <laughs> to try to be chewing on his leash. Okay, he's uh, here with me. I'm, I'm giving little Addie a break. She is such a good pet owner with Ollie. Um, Ollie chose her pretty early on as his person meaning she is who he loves being with the most. Um, and she has just cared for him while he's been sick such so wonderfully. Sorry, he's bumping me. Come here. This may not work out for us to do this. Why don't you come up here and sit down? Huh? Why don't you sit down? Let's sit down. Ollie. <laughs> okay. So, that takes care of this week, which is a big thing. I just got a note from Aunt Lou that, um, my editorial, uh, hang on, I just got another message from her, hang on. Okay, she's just asking me about editorial because she can't do her job until I do mine. Okay, so, um... What I need to do now is get over to my computer and get some editorial done um, after some puppy cuddles here um, with my little one who I think is feeling much better. Are you feeling much better? <laughs> so, okay, so next week I know that we're going to have the bacon wrap dates for Mikey. And even if you've never eaten dates, I mean, everybody's like, I've never had this before, but this tastes really, really good. So there's that. That'll be Friday, and, and you can do other things other than dates if that's not your cup of tea. Um, then uh, I think one of the days I'm going to do a, a basics video where we're going to go, we're going to start doing some more just basics, like crock potting basics, uh, electric pressure cooker basics, air fryer basic basics, just for people who are just starting out because I get a lot of the same questions. And so I think we're going to talk about cooking times um, for pressure cookers because that's one of those things that people get really confused about because one of the things that everybody says about pressure cookers is things can cook so much faster. But if you're just starting out, you may not understand all the terminology um, about like somebody might say it only takes 15 minutes to cook under pressure, but you don't necessarily always find out that it takes sometimes up to 15 minutes to reach pressure. So that something you might be thinking is only going to take you 15 minutes might actually be taking a half an hour. And I know that that in the slow cooking world, that's nothing. But um, in the electric pressure cooking world, um, that, that can kind of throw a wrench into things for people. So we're going to talk about cooking times, I think. And then I've got to figure out what and uh, another recipe we're going to have for next week. Um, I have several on my list. I think I might have Aunt Lou and Mikey tape something because she'll be up next week. And then that way um, we can have a little bit of everything going on next week. Uh, look at me sitting here and figuring out editorial on the fly while I'm chit-chatting with you guys <laughs> through my horrible, awful last couple of uh, days. But anyhow, so I'm going to go sit down and actually get uh, the editorial stuff done for Aunt Lou. Um, and I'm not sure what Ollie's going to do, but he's not going to eat things that he's not supposed to. Right, Ollie? Right?
Good morning. Um, I'm making scrambled eggs so we can have breakfast burritos because food has not been being made real regularly since we've gotten home. <laughs> Secrets of a food blogger. Um, and then Mikey and I are going to have a meeting to figure out what all needs to be taped, what needs edited, what needs fixed on the website. Um, Miss Ad's doing school. Ollie's helping. Aki, I think, is upstairs with Mikey right now. So, And the cat, who knows? He's just glad to be home. So, um, that's what's going on. I, now that we've got videos for this week taped so Mikey can edit them, um, now I'm going to start focusing on next week. And I'm a day behind. So, ketchup, ketchup, ketchup is the theme of this week. Maybe I should make something with ketchup. through all my stuff because uh, so much of what we normally wear and use and have is still with the trailer getting repairs so I'm like digging through my closet through my other clothes and stuff and this is what happens so do you see any problem with all these shoes I have found they're all the right foot. Mikey says it's because they all left. Those are those are the day-to-day -day jokes I get in my daily life. But I'm struggling to find... I, I mean, every time I would find one, I would find the right foot. How does this... Does this happen to anyone else? Because I, I really... This is... This almost feels like a skill. So I'm sitting here at my desk working on some major uh, maintenance on the site that was needing to be done um, that I had planned to do um, and uh, I had just shared with you guys that awkward Yeti uh, quote or little comic strip. I love that comic strip. It's so cute. We always joke that I'm brain and Mikey's heart in it a lot of times <laughs> because um, that's kind of our relationship, uh, but anyhow, we love that comic strip. Any, and I just got a new calendar. So I was cutting out the little strips from my old calendar, and it made me think of, or it made me think of what's going on in our lives right now, which is, uh, that we've made all kinds of plans, and everything's kind of went a little crazy on us. So... I would be lying if I did not say that I am extremely overwhelmed. Um, and I have been. It's getting better because I got a lot of stuff kind of done yesterday, even though it kind of puts us further behind on what we normally do. And so today is figuring out how to catch up with what we normally do on top of the things that we already had planned, like this site maintenance stuff that I'm working on right now. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in the background of a website that you guys hopefully never see. <laughs> and so that's what I'm sitting here working on. And it was making me think as I was making those breakfast burritos in the morning with all the things that I had to do, I was very, very like, why are you sitting here making breakfast burritos? But then after it was done, it occurred to me that part of the reason I was making breakfast burritos is I knew if I had them in the refrigerator for everyone, that would make the rest of the week a lot easier because that means that no one has to figure out breakfast in the morning. 
everybody loves them and it also means that everybody's gonna have full tummies so we're gonna have better attitudes <laughs> and it it was like Technically, making those breakfast burritos was helping take a big step forward so that we could focus on the other things that we needed to focus on. And it makes me uh, uh, think about that old saying, and I'm not even sure where it comes from. If you know, definitely comment down below about, well, how do you go about the task of eating an elephant? And they say you eat an elephant just like you eat anything else, one bite at a time. <laughs> so... That's what we've been doing around here. One little bite at a time trying to get things back on track. So um, I'm gonna get back to work, but I thought I'd share that little clip with you while I was waiting on this video to upload for the back end of our site. And so I'm, um, I'm trying to eat my elephant one little bite at a time. <laughs> So on today's agenda, I've been working on my photos for Strawberry Shortcake. So that was for, I'm still catching up. <laughs> That's for last week for you guys. Um, and then I have to work on Friday's post, which I'm hoping is going to be a um, crock pot, easy crock pot recipes for beginners. So we're gonna do that. And then um, I have a call with um, my business accountability partner. So we haven't got to talk a lot since the uh, oh, holidays. So I'm excited about that because there's all kinds of new stuff going on. And then I'm gonna start trying to figure out how to record some tutorials for the um, recipe box on the website because a lot of people have been asking me lots of questions on that. And so um, I'm excited about that because I finally got that outlined and the recipe box is hopefully, all the updates that I needed to make are hopefully um, done or will be done by next week so that we can um, show everybody how you can do everything from saving recipes to uh, you can save recipes, organize recipes, and then also make menus and make shopping lists and those kinds of things all from the website and save your own account and it's completely free. And then that way you don't have to worry about sites like Pinterest or other sites like that um, or trying to save it at another site. It'll all be there on the website for you to keep and organize and do everything that way. And we're gonna show you guys how we do that, how you can do that, and then um, hopefully start using that more because we got several readers trying to use Recipe Box. So I'm really excited about that tool and what it can mean for everybody. I'm hungry and I'm making lunch. So I'm making a stovetop version of my uh, low carb homemade tomato soup. And then I'm gonna have grilled cheese because it's a comfort food day. The way I have grilled cheese is with this um, low carb bread that we love. So the trick to this bread I found is you keep it in the fridge and it stays um, fresh longer. And then that way um, you don't waste anything. If you don't eat bread a lot, like I don't eat bread a lot, so. Anyhow, it's a low carb bread. I really like it. I get it online. If it's not in our Amazon influencer shop, I will put it in there so you guys can check it out if you're low carbers.
so one of my um, shipments came today and I thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, we, I order in bulk from a site called Nettrition, I think it is. They're no affiliation with us. If I have an affiliate link, I'd have to look and see if I can get one from them to, and maybe I'll see if there's any kind of option because I find it cheaper to um, buy things in bulk from them and then um, then I do to always buy things from Amazon. Sometimes I buy things from Amazon, especially if I'm in a pinch, um, but their shipping's pretty quick. But one of the things that I order from them pretty much, it's the cause of one I order is I get our low carb pasta. I'm gonna have to put this down and open because it's in another box to protect the pasta. I'll show you that here in a minute. That's the reason I order and then I just add to the order until I get free shipping with other things that we like to eat. So one of the things that Miss Ad always requests, and this is about the only place I found it. I, I don't think I've looked for it anywhere else. These are low carb marshmallows. And so we use these with these low carb um, waffle cookies to make uh, low carb s'mores. So she asked me to grab those whenever I make an order. So I've got all those. I just um, added some of those to our order because we were completely out of those. Let's see what else is down in here. You guys can see Carb Quick. Um, I can order in bulk here and it was significantly cheaper than Am Amazon's prices are always changing. Sometimes it's cheaper here and sometimes it's cheaper at Amazon. So I always double check when I'm making an order which place it would be cheaper. So this time they won. And then this is my favorite sweetener. And this is about the cheapest place. I can get it for about the same price at on Sucrin's website, but in order to get free shipping, I have to order a lot more than I can if I just order a few things from um, Nutrition. I can add it, and it helps me reach free shipping. So I've got their powdered sugar version, their sugar sugar version, and their brown sugar version. And then that's it in here other than um, the pasta, which I'll show you here in a second. One other thing I always double check the price on, and I typically find it cheaper, subscribe and save through Amazon, is our coffee syrup. Um, like a sugar-free, uh, we like the sugar-free hazelnut. And if you get it in the large bottles and you buy it through subscribe and save, you can get it cheaper than from Nutrition or in the grocery store. In the grocery store, I can just find the little bottles. So I'm always just double ch checking all the prices because the low carb stuff like this, like the processed stuff, if you're gonna do that, I know a lot of people don't. I'm not keto. I know a lot of people go keto. Go for it, you do you. But for me, I'm going low carb and these things help me stay on track. So um, I look for those kinds of things. And so, um, like I said, I can get it cheaper, subscribe and save. So that'll come with my subscribe and save this month. So give me a second. I'll show you this, uh, pasta. Okay. So this is our pasta. I typically only get the elbows and the fettuccine. The fettuccine is our absolute favorite. Um, it says that there are four servings per container. But I will tell you, I always, when I'm adding chicken and sauce or beef and sauce, I add enough stuff to it that it usually makes at least six servings, if not eight, by the time I'm done to kind of lower the carb count. Um, but this is our favorite, and we love it, and I serve it to regular carb people too, like people who aren't eating low carb. Um, those are our favorites. I think they have a rotini, and they have a penne pasta I haven't really enjoyed that the same as I have these two kinds of pasta 
Um, I think the rotini I could get away with making my pasta salad, but it's kind of why buy that when I could make my pasta salad with elbows and I'd still have, like, I don't have to decide what I'm gonna make. So I keep the elbows so that I can um, either make mac and cheese or beefy mac or something like that, or we make Mississippi mac. Um, and then um, if I wanted to over the summer or even go and get some veggies here in the winter and I could make pasta salad with this too. So that's what we do. Um, we don't have pasta very often, kind of like we don't have bread very often, but I do like to keep it in my pantry, which made me think is I wonder if you guys would like kind of a things I keep in my low carb pantry video at some point. If you do just comment down below I know not everybody that watches the channel is low carb but I know a lot of people are wondering what we're using and doing and all that kind of stuff so but that shipment came so I thought I'd show you um, I've got a couple other things coming um, we have a couple things a lot of this stuff a part of it was left in the trailer um, the RV which we should be able to pick up in a couple weeks, but I got to keep things going regardless. And we were almost out of everything. So I was going to have to make an order anyways. Um, I have a casserole crock coming because my casserole crock, uh, the buttons were getting, were broken. And so I was going to need to reorder one anyways. And so I went ahead and ordered one because my casserole crock is also in my RV right now. So lots of trying to figure out where everything is because I need it both for some recipes, also for some video ideas. And so um, I think I might do an unboxing of that on the channel with some ideas of things to make in the casserole crock because it's the number one question I get when people get it. You can make almost anything in it. I just have certain recipes that I really enjoy making in it versus recipes that I would prefer to use a different slow cooker. So. Anyhow, I need to get back to writing my blog post, but mail time happened, so I thought I'd share. So the vet has uh, banned Ollie from all kinds of toys other than the hard rubber toys that he can't rip apart. So he's not allowed to have squeaky toys anymore, he's not allowed to have any kind of rope toy anymore, and he's not, he's definitely not allowed to have anything fabric based or like stuffed animal based because he eats them and it's not good for him. So he had this one special little ball that he loves that he can still have as long as these little pieces don't break off, which they're pretty tough. And so we got him a new pack of those and then his other balls that will still fit. And he is like in heaven because of all of his toys, the ball is his favorite. He loves to play fetch. And so he is just having a time. What's hilarious though, now that he has more than one of these, is he keeps trying to figure out a way he can carry them all. So he's, he's in hog heaven right now. morning we are actually getting ready to tape we just got a delivery of our aprons from Zazzle if you guys are interested in these aprons we have them in a shop you can um, we'll put the link down below we have two different kinds of aprons well, actually I think we have three in that shop I have to see. Uh, but I got two for, um, hang on, this isn't really working. We got two different kinds of aprons that we normally wear on the show. Sometimes I wear my 
not my circus, not my monkeys, or not my monkeys, not my circus. But usually what we wear are the Croc Star design. And then we have our official recipes that crock, crock posse, I'll clean that up later, um, aprons. But we needed these because Mikey's getting ready to tape um, the bacon wrap dates. And then I'm going to tape two shows. I figured that out. And those are um, one. I'm going to do a casserole crock uh, video talking about our favorite things we like to make in the casserole crocks. And then I'm also going to do um, an instant pot uh, kind of tutorial about how cooking times work with the instant pot. So, and that instant pot actually came today too. So, Finally, starting to get back on speed, and by the time I'm done with today, we will have everything planned out to not only have this week done, and next week done, but also we will be a week ahead, and I'm really excited about that, because Aunt Lou's coming up next week, and Aunt Lou and Mikey are going to be taping two recipes. So everything, so this being a preview of what you're going to see this week is a little jumbled up because we're all kinds of all over the place. Aunt Lou and Mikey are taping a uh, chicken dip recipe just in time, I, I want to say just in time for Super Bowl, but I'll be real honest, I don't know when Super Bowl is. <laughs> Anyhow. I probably ought to figure that out. But a, a nacho chicken dip. They're going to do that. Um, Aki needs to go out. And I need to get all this stuff hung up and ready for us to tape. So I'm really excited that we can finally get the ball moving around here. Well, I'm back up in my office. And I am going to start working on the vlog so it can get done before the weekend. Um, so it will be ready for you guys on the Monday that you're seeing this. Um... I'm going to tape the casserole crock thing next week, so that'll be something we can talk about in next week's vlog, because Mikey's fixing some stuff downstairs, and there was lots of hammering, and I'm like, yeah, that probably isn't a good thing to go on in the background um, of the video, so, as you can hear, I think you can hear that. So, I'm going to get started on the vlog, because that's what I needed to do. We're going to close out, hopefully, he says there's a taping of some music he's played somewhere so I'm gonna go try and dig that up and, and close us out with that but thanks for hanging with me this week and I hope you enjoy the stuff we have for you guys this week on the channel see you next week bye Just by me, a beer or a shot. I don't care what they got. Jack, Jim, B, McGinnis. Hurry up! The bubble sips. I'll take it from the top shelf. I'll take it was under the center. Just by me. I still got that light brighter, I like that. I say, by me, Jay. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mikey Goomba. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.